I realize some of the dates and uh, links were unclear on the presentation here. As you enter lunch uh, after uh, our session, we, we have printed out some uh, leaflets with all the information on them and, and some timelines. I'd like to welcome Mohammed, uh, Mr. Jihad Al-Gabwandi, our Executive Director for uh, Operations. We're going to have a very quick presentation and then uh, a very quick discussion that includes one more person from the World Bank and then we'll go into lunch a little bit late. Do excuse us. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه. السلام عليكم أول شيء نرحب بالحضور الكريم ونشكركم صراحة على حضوركم مثل ما ذكر زميلي أبو يوسف أنا راح أتكلم عن قطاع العمليات في الصندوق الوطني وماذا أنجز في هذا القطاع فالبرزنتيشن عندي راح تكون أول شيء راح اتكلم بيسكلي عن ال ذا رول اوف ذا فند راح تكون بالانجليزي اساس الحضور الاجانب ويانا بعدين راح اتكلم عن هاو دو وي جو اباوت اتشيفنج اتشيفنج اور رول ديسكربشن اوف اور البرودكتس اللي عندنا البروجرس ريبورت اون ذا ديفلوبمنت اوف ذيس برودكتس طبعا فاينلي التشالنجز اللي وي ار ديلينج وذ كارنتلي Why the fund? طبعا مثل ما ذكروا الصبح اليوم لورد جوناثان وانابيل والاخت داتو ان قطاع الاسامي هذا قطاع مهم اند يو كانوت اجنور the SME is the is the main drivers for job creation, for growth and for competition. Uh, 95% of the companies worldwide are considered SME. Uh, in Japan, for instance, it's 99 percent. In India, 80 percent. In the EU, 99 percent. But طبعاً, we have to be careful here. The SME definition actually it differs from one country to another. So, what is considered SME in uh, Kuwait is not necessarily considered SME. But هذا يعطينا صورة عن أهمية هذا القطاع في أي اقتصاد في العالم. طبعاً, the job creation. Half of the job globally is created by the sectors. For the emerging market, probably two-thirds of the formal private sector emerging market jobs is created by the SME versus 25% in the developed countries. All SMEs, uh, it contributes up to 51% of the GDP. All companies in the world started uh, as small as SME. Why the, that's why now the main reason the fund came is really to serve a group of these companies or entrepreneur uh, that currently is being underserved by the private sector due to the two main uh, factors, the small size of these uh, companies and the other factor, the risk profile, which is considered it's a high risk. The fund will provide really the assistant and will help these SMEs uh, to develop and to become Uh, stand alone private sector companies independent of the national fund. Our role for the fund will be, first of all, providing capital. It's, it's going to be either debt or equity. We're going to share the risk. And the risk will be different. The risk return profile will be different according to whether it's debt or equity. And then we're going to provide the services, as my colleague Mishari mentioned earlier, is the business support services, the training, and the consultation. Our products, we identify three different uh, categories of, pro of products, and these products actually require different skills. I will say immediately, debt, and that's going to be for existing uh, companies with few years of operation and uh, positive cash flow. Uh, in the short term, uh, we're going to provide uh, the equity uh, program, and that's for startup with ongoing uh, operation and promising business. But Companies that have uh, a uh, uh, cash flow that is not really adequate for uh, debt uh, support yet. On the medium term, we're going to have the incubation of the sea cat capital, and that's for entrepreneurs with great ideas, and we help them planning and forming. And that will be the flagship of this uh, fund. I'll explain that how uh, later. How we're going to do it? We're going to do it through a partnership with the private sector. The fund wants to really close the gap that's not being covered by the private sector so far in Kuwait. 
So we are yet, we are not replacing the private sector. We're going to utilize and leverage all the resources available and the expertise available with the private sector. The debt program. Debt program, globally, the uh, credit gap so far is about two, two, $2 trillion uh, dollar globally. The Kuwait is, is very small uh, compared to that, but uh, our debt program, uh, it's up and running. We currently have our pilot projects with the uh, Gulf Bank, which started uh, last February. And next step is really to engage all the local banks. Targets uh, SMEs for our debt program will be uh, companies with a minimum of two years operation, uh, and we're providing the below market according to the law. It's a 2% right. below market rate. Uh, so the rate is 2%. And the funding will be a maximum of 80% by the fund, a minimum of 20% by the local banks. And hopefully, eventually, that 80-20 will, should be, uh, are we hoping to be like 70-30 or 50-50. The skills requires is really purely technical credit analysis, and the process is two uh, step processes. The fund will have its own Man, uh, credit policy and process, and the local bank will have its own credit policy process. Mainly, as a fund, we have our social commitment to this qita on top of our commercial commitment. The equity program, uh, inshallah, is going to be un it's under development, but it's running, inshallah, in the very near uh, future. Uh, the nature it's similar to an investment company operation like an early stage investing. We're gonna do it in partnership with local companies. We are currently developing the commercial structure uh, for this program. Target SMEs, with Magad, uh, earlier, it serves company with ongoing operation, but with cash flow not really uh, adequate to serve uh, debt. The, our participation, again, it's gonna be maximum 80% by the fund and uh, minimum 20% by the local investors. The skills required in this case is, will be fundamental business analysis and due diligence, structuring, post-investment. The process, okay, again, it's the two process. We have the fund, it has its own investment objective criteria and risk appetite, and the local investors will have its own risk appetite and uh, objective. Then we'll have the incubation and the seed capital. The time frame of it's under the inshallah is gonna be up and running in the medium term. The nature of that, it's initial stage, uh, the initial stage will be training and support, and later stage will be investing, similar to an investment company operation, Greenfield Investing. We're gonna do partnership with local companies, we'll depend heavily on private sector participation, and we'll seek a subject matter expert in this field. Target SME, entrepreneur with great ideas. Skills require طبعا, fundamental business analysis, uh, due diligence, uh, structuring, post-investment, but most important, it's a forward-looking mindset. Let me explain what I mean by the incubation, or our definition of incubation. It's really all the services and support required to help the entrepreneur to convert his idea into uh, a, a, a company or a mashru or, or a project, a commercial project, through going through this following stages. Stages are, we do, we do as, as my colleague Musharia mentioned earlier, we do the feasibility study, and then we go into the business planning, the business formation, the startup, the growth, the acceleration, and then into maturity. This process, uh, as per the law, it might take up to three years. Again, so the incubation is not really only a market as a real estate, it's the services and the support we give within that uh, hub. And this is really what uh, make this initiative of the National Fund by the government is different than any previous government initiatives of Mubadarat by Al-Hukuma, in, uh, including the incubation, Mubadarat, all the initiatives previously, it didn't have the incubation element in it. And uh, as the chairman mentioned earlier this morning, uh, the government, Hukuma uh, Mashkura, provided us with three maraks, uh, three hubs, which we're going to have our incubation in it according to the sectors. We'll have one in Belfeha, with the other in Desma, and the third will be in the Mansouria. The building, of course, now is under uh, internal uh, redecoration and redesigning to, to be adequate for uh, incubation. What are the challenges that we facing? Taban again, we are, there is no blueprint to follow. Yeah, and it's a very unique. The national fund initiative is very unique. 
uh, as my colleague mentioned earlier, uh, going around the world, uh, you, you, it's very rarely to find a comprehensive solution for the SMEs. It's either a debt model or an equity, rarely is both. The national fund is actually having it as a both. So that's why there is no blueprint to follow uh, in uh, establishing this fund. Uh, it's an original thinking, fit for Kuwait uh, business culture, the processes, policies, procedures being developed in collaboration with the World Bank. We're going to have our continuous review and revision of our operation and processes as we, as we go and as we grow. Uh, we make sure to reach the, to the mass of, of the large SME entrepreneurial population and get the feedbacks and then make sure the SME or entrepreneur on the longer run will be independent of the national uh, fund. So in summary, the national fund will cover the gap, really the banks and the financial institution is not currently covering. Uh, national, the national fund will do it in participation with the private sector. Eventually the private sector will close that gap we mentioned earlier that it's underserved, and then the entrepreneur will be eventually independent of the national fund. The national fund will review and adjust its program regularly, no blueprint to follow. Thank you for listening.